Well, I am happy to have you at the Glass Studio today. And we're gonna do just a quick and easy project. <laughs> and David, my darling husband, is going to show you how to do a sacred geometry ball. There are only six pieces, so that's good. And we're gonna show you how to use a little piece of zinc to put around it instead of copper foil. So this might be something that you haven't tried before. So I'm glad you're here. And let's get to it. Okay, well, Jeannie has forced me into doing this project. Now, you may look at this one and recognize that this, what did you call it? Sacred geometry ball? Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it was put together with um, the copper foil method. And I... Bring it closer here. I don't love it. So, so we're going to do it with this uh, zinc metal. Now, this is zinc uh, U channel. Now, when you're using this kind of material having this type of fit is very helpful because you can use it you take the back edge push along a little bit and that'll widen out your your zinc so that it'll fit a little better now if when your initial pass uh, widens it but not enough then what you can do is you put the back of the fit in and then turn it slightly and then push it across and it will open things up even a little bit more. It does have a tendency to deflect the along the, the whole length of it so you might want to just bend it back the way it should be. Now, this is really easy to work with because what you're going to do is you just set it in there. You'll see that I've got it to where it's lining up right to the back. Then I take my dikes I place them in such a way that the the blades really now once that's done and I like to bend it back and then bend it forward and you want to be careful there because if you do that too often it'll break right off and then it'll be more difficult to get everything to cooperate with you as you're as you're doing the construction. So now I've got that side in and this side in. Now I can take my dikes again. This is why you want to really get in there tight. Kind of just as tight as you can. You see, when you cut it, it doesn't actually, you know, completely pull it apart. I bend it back. I can bend it forward.
on this one, I'm going to want to pull that one out of the way. Hmm. Let's see. Now what I need to do is break it off so I can Had to open up Okay, there's one done, and we'll do the other. Let's see, what's that, five more to go? Mm-hmm. Now, let's see. It is a total, are these two inch?
Okay, now on this one, remember I had to start over again because uh, because it was not spread out enough. So I this new one I spread more, and this one is spread even farther, and it's uh, it's a very thin piece of glass, and you see that it's. See how far away it is from the uh, from the edge. Well, so I I don't want that to be spread out that much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm holding it here. And that allowed me to. Get it flattened out here and here more so that it won't rock back and forth too much. All right, so now I can get in here. When I tip it this way, I I angle this last one instead of being f straight. I angle it back a little bit. And then when I break it off, you can see that the cutoff part is at an angle. And so it uh, it's nice and flat up against my edge there. Now on this one, uh, because it was a little bit tight still, um, I, I had to put nails on all around it. This is my spot where I want it to be soldered. That holds it all in place. Okay, through the magic of uh, video time travel, we've gone a couple of days ahead. Now what I did was I put three of these together in a triangle. Now these are facing down and I, and I just soldered them just barely. And I discovered that 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 was still too solid. So what I've got is I've got some really fine wire 
and I think it's 20 gauge or even finer. I'm not sure what the gauge is. This is I don't have the packaging that, that this came in. So I've got this really fine wire. And what I've done, I've made a few little pieces. And I'm just, I've got a, several of them clipped. And what I'm doing here is I'm clipping this little piece. So what this will do is when I when I put it down, come on, here we go a little bit wider. This is going to kind of work like a hinge, I guess. This guy down, put a little bit of flux on it. All right, now I can put this one right here, and it's lined up. It's nice once you get that. Uh, the first side stuck is in. It doesn't fall off. Now, dot of solder, and we're gonna get on there and heat up the zinc and let the solder flow onto the wire. Okay. Good. So now we have two of the three joints complete. Get this open. This one came off, so I have to reattach it. This would be a lot easier if I had a, a thin copper wire, but the copper wire that I've got is too heavy of a gauge.
Okay, you see how this is going to work. Now I'm going to get that part right there. Now zinc is a little harder to uh, to solder to than say if we were doing the copper foil, but it's also more rugged, and so it it doesn't rip on you either. So all right, now I think oh, oh I was right. This has got a little bit too much solder on it. I can't flex it. There we go. All right. So now, See if I did it this way. I think if I put one here with just solder. I'll still be able to move stuff around enough to Okay, so now because there's these wires in here, I'm able to flex these pieces around a bit. And I can make all four of these joints line up, which I was not able to do when I didn't have that flexibility. Can 
get these. And once I get it all put together, I'll be able to go along and you know kind of reinforce these uh, these corner solder joints so they'll be stronger and they'll look prettier and I want to get that okay this one Alright, so that's the ball, and I just need to go about it and kind of you know, tweak my joints. But there it is. That's your. More like a ball that way, doesn't it? Now, once you get one done that's just right, that you really like, then if you want to make another one, you can take clay and form a mold with, with these so that you don't need to use wires. You can just you know, put the clay underneath it and, and make it a uh, make it a stand. You got to kind of warm up the clay, so you get it soft. All right, with the clay kind of warmed up and it's more pliable, you see, then you'll be able to. Put the put this down in them and make a mold and you want to you know make it big enough so that you've got it going all the way around the base of your ball and then let it uh, then let it harden back up after it's cooled it'll harden back up and then uh, your pieces of glass will fit right in there into your mold at the correct angle then you'll be able to solder from the inside put the whole thing together quite easily so you'll start with three and then you know they'll they'll fit in just like 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 so all right well this has been david gum fiddling around with the sacred ball in the stained glass shop i hope i tell you if you if you're with me now you're really a fan because <laughs> that was that was a quite of a long video and very uh, uh well it was instructed instructive for me as well as for you i hope you come back i hope you join us please like the video and subscribe thank you